Hello everyone, it's Sam with MobileTechVideos.com. Today on this episode of Android 101, we are going to get back to basics and talk about how to flash a ROM using twerp recovery. So I know I made a video once before on how to flash a ROM using twerp and uh, so you might be asking why we're doing this again. I keep getting a lot of comments about people asking how to flash a ROM. Uh, they tried it, doing it like it's uh, written out in the thread instructions, but they keep having issues. So I figured we would just break it down, bare bones, the very basics of using twerp and for flashing on a ROM. So let's get started. Uh, first thing, our phone is turned off here. This is our Note 2. In order to get into recovery, we need to hold the volume up, the home button, and if I can reach it, power button. When you see the Galaxy Note 2 logo there, you let go of the power button, but continue to hold the other two. And Team Win, Team Win Recovery Project pops up, and we are in it. Now, the first thing we need to do is wipe all of our data. So you click on wipe, and then you have all these options. We're just going to use the top four. And I like to think of it as uh, going clockwise, starting with the factory data or factory wipe. Slide across. Oop, missed it. Slide across to wipe. And it's done. Then you want to go to the next one in the clockwise rotation which is your cache and that's got it then you want to do Dalvik cache that goes by quickly then you want to do system this is going to clean everything out now I like to go around again just to make sure everything is good And that's it. That's all the wiping we need to do. So you go back and now we want to click on install. And you have two options. You have uh, the external SD and the internal SD. You can put your uh, zip ROM file on either one of these and uh, flash from either one. If you're a little concerned about it or you're unsure, just go ahead and put it on the internal. That's where I put this one. Now you can also put it into a folder if you want. Uh, say you can make a folder labeled ROMs and put all the ROMs you want to flash in there. And you can go in and find that folder and click on it and then flash from there. But once again, if you're unsure about it, you might as well just put it on the root of the uh, SD card here. So I have this one down here at the bottom. Also, zip files are always at the bottom. You want to click on it, just double check that it uh, put it in there. If you have other files you want to flash, say you're doing a 4.2.2 ROM and you also need to flash the Google Apps, you could uh, click on that button right there and then pick the next file and it will flash them in order. But this is the only one we need to do, so we just need to swipe. Now I think this one might have an aroma. Yep, it has an aroma. So we just want to go through the steps here, picking what we want. Okay, I went through the setup for the uh, aroma installer on this ROM. Uh, did it off camera because it's just a bunch of going through and picking which options you want, what kind of battery icon you want, what tweaks and hacks you want to put on, what which browser you want to use. So it's not anything that you guys need to watch me do, but it says it's ready. Uh, if you are ready, then we will click next and you get a status bar down here at the bottom showing how it's uh, progressing. 
and you see all your things being flashed there. So we'll uh, be back when this is all done. Okay, so we just got the all done. So click that and it's going to ask if we want to reboot. Say yes. And that is it. It's rebooting the uh, the new ROM. We got our our logo there. Now we're getting our boot animation and boot sound. I don't know if you heard that, but that is it, guys. Um, real quick, this ROM, like I said, had an Aroma installer on it uh, through the flashing process, but some ROMs won't. When you slide the uh, ball across there to start the flashing process if it doesn't have an aroma installer you'll see the uh, the code going by talking about what's being flashed and then you'll get an all done and you'll have uh, three options one is to wipe cache and dalvik once again and I always like to do that then uh, the bottom one is to reboot system so you just want to click reboot system and you're all done and that's it. It's very simple. Uh, that is the basic uh, process of flashing a ROM. It's the same generally for almost every ROM unless the developer has some additional instructions in the thread like fixing permissions or, or wiping some other uh, element. But if not, then that's it. Next, we will show you how to do it using Clockwork Mod Recovery. So thanks a lot, guys. Until next time, this is Sam with MobileTakeVideos.com.